Uh, I'm Jasper McKinney from Southern Regional College and I'm Assistant Director there. I was responsible for Student Services and I'm currently working as Innovation Manager for the new developments of our new campuses. I was involved with the working with the Trust on Transition for a number of years, really looking at the levels of our programmes, how we transition students through to the college and the aspiration for them to progress to either employment or supported employment or other daytime opportunities following their time with us, which was normally a year up to three years and working with the families, yourselves and other stakeholder groups to ensure that the aspirations of the young people was realistic, realistic to their ability levels and realistic to their opportunity for progression. And that was important, it impacted really on how we redesigned our admissions process, setting up the transition group for the region through Southern Regional College and then looking at the content of our programmes, the design of our curriculum and integrating work placement and work support, work progression and careers education into the programmes to offer um, that positivity of an aspiration to progress to, albeit supported employment or other activities. Well, my name is Charith Quinn, I'm a careers advisor with the Northern Irish Careers Service and basically what my role is is to provide impartial advice and guidance and information to young people and adults. Um, I work specifically in different schools within the area um, of Banbridge and basically what my role would be will be first to attend the transition plan meeting stage and meet other transition pro professionals, usually from health and education. And basically at that point the young person and the family are attending that meeting within that's organised by the school. Um, at that stage is more of an introduction for me um, so that the family are aware of the services the career service can avail of but it also gives me an opportunity to network with the transition team from health, the transition team from education as well as the school teachers and principals. Um, after that stage we would go to attend a personal centre plan for the young person which I'm invited to by the Health Trust. Um, basically the Health Trust will organise that for the benefit of the young person. Um, it is a very good um, plan to be in place because it looks at all avenues of the young person's life. Basically what's happening with them at home, what's happening with them in school, where their strengths are, maybe establishing weaknesses. So all the support that needs to be put in place can be put in place. And my role at that meeting will be basically to um, discuss maybe work that I have already completed with the student or work that I will still have still to do with the student. That can be work, for example, um, well, I suppose it might have been individual work or group work um, and what the young person has maybe discussed with me about their plans for the future. So I would bring that to the table and we would work as a, t a team, you know, networking with professionals um, and the young person and their family all are attending that meeting so it's really invaluable. Um, at that, after that stage really you're talking along the lines of the annual review before they leave which is important that all the information that has been gathered from the person centre plan um, is pieced together and we look at where the young person will decide to go when they finish the school process. So my name is Potter Court, um, I'm 25 years old and I'm from Neary and just basically where I started off I went to St Patrick's Primary School in Neary and then following on from that I went down to St Mark's High School in Warren Point um, and it was really from there I wouldn't have even known where to start um, and then this early service of the, of the transition period came around I think it was when we were in around the end of fourth year or so um, to be honest that kind of worked for me because I knew from about second, third year, fourth year um, that I wasn't going to stay on at school, that I, I wanted to try something different um, I'm always up for changes and I like changes so I thought no I, I want to go further um, than, than, than mainstream education, I want to go into the likes of further education um, so it's from that we were introduced to yourself Ruth um, and it was a number just of different multi-agency multi meetings um, and stuff like that there where people just really came around the table and discussed what, what it was that wanted to be done and, and how this was going to be achievable. Um, so my transition was kind of like in two periods that would have been going on to uh, the further education then when I was in further education uh, I didn't give people much chance really 
um, to kind of take their eye off the ball because after further education uh, I then decided I wanted to go on to higher education and that was to the University of Ulster um, and that would have been the study management and leadership and again uh, a number of multi-agency multi meetings would have took place there as well, different heads around the table um, to get the proper the proper procedures put in place to enable me to go there and to be in, as independent as I could. Um, so for me it wouldn't have been achievable without the transitions period and just with the key people around that table so that would have been yourselves because um, you really would have been the coordinating uh, role of it and making sure uh, all needs and, and stuff were met um, and who was meant to be doing what was actually doing what they were supposed to do um, and then the other person would have been journaling as well and um, Jeremy Gormley, the OT, who played a very, very vital role in, in achieving that. So that was very successful and that's actually helped me to get where, where I am today. Um, I'm a full-time worker with Community Restorative Justice in Yuri and if I didn't have that, that, that the transition there to be able to go on and do further and higher education, then I would, to be perfectly honest, would be sitting in the house, um, just basically sitting on benefits where now I'm out living totally independent um, working away full time and, and absolutely loving it. Jodie Toland, I went to Down Patrick, um, which was a, a an as it would be the same as Ad, an as down course. Um, after that, it didn't go well for me. It just went completely heads up. Um, I was in a lot of trouble at the time with people that I was hanging around with, like doing certain things I shouldn't have been doing. Um, then after that, it was just it was tragical. I didn't want to get out of bed till about, around about dinner time. It was just really awful for me. I felt down, I felt lonely, as if I didn't have no mates around me. They turned my life around completely, just turned my whole life around. Um, I, Kieran, went to see Amanda, which is a new college that I go to. Um, she, uh, sorry, Kieran went and spoke to Amanda, Amanda, uh, um, got me an interview with her and that went absolutely amazing. I was amazed by what they were doing in the college and I'm so pleased with myself that I've pushed myself on now. Um, my whole life, new friends, a new fresh start. Um, I'm getting more help that I need. I'm getting more, I've, they've actually built up my confidence so then in the future now I can go back on this and say look at what I've done. My name's Austin Burns. Uh and I'm from Warren Point, just a few minutes from here. So I suppose I attended St. Mark's High School in Warren Point, um, and I got involved in transition services when I started to look at what I wanted to do next with regards to further education and, and studying. Um, and I always was clear that I wanted to go to university and um, go down that route, and transition services made that possible by looking at different options that were available to me and also making sure that whenever I decided on the university and decided on the course that I wanted to do, uh, that things were in place with regards to being accessible, making sure that the right support was in place to do the actual studies and do the actual course, and just generally making sure that all the steps that would be, that you have to take to, uh, to get into university um, were made easier and things were were um, possible. From when I finished university I've worked in a company in Belfast for a couple of years and more recently now I'm working with a company who do medical equipment and medical devices and I'm doing their online and digital marketing. 